With freight traffic on the rise, TxDOT wanted to ensure that motorists are as safe as possible, especially in corridors where freight and truck traffic is the highest. Meeting test level four standards with metal guardrail systems has never been attempted until now. You'll commonly see guardrails on the side of highways, and those guardrails are, are meant to protect uh, motorists from getting off the road. A high percentage of uh, you know, serious accidents and fatality, fatalities are associated with the, the driver leaving the roadway, uh, not necessarily an impact with another vehicle. So yes, they do save uh, a lot of lives on a yearly basis and TxDOT literally has thousands of miles of uh, metal beam guard fence in the state. Texas has a lot of heavy trucks as well as we have a pretty substantial uh, Texas Highway Freight Network. Typically most guardrail is tested to what's called test level three, which basically means 62 miles per hour for a, a 5,000 pound pickup. But test level four takes it up a notch and basically this is a 22,000 pound delivery type truck that is tested at 56 miles per hour. Obviously that's gonna have a lot more kinetic energy and so the intent is to have a more durable guardrail for those high truck traffic and freight network areas. Texas already has a lot of uh, concrete barriers that, uh, that provide the same level of containment uh, for freight trucks, uh, but this is a metal guardrail and there are several benefits to having a metal guardrail. Uh, it's expected to be cheaper than a concrete barrier. It's more open design on highways. We will also be able to transition much easier from this guardrail to a standard guardrail, which is not test level four guardrail, which is why Texas wanted to have this design as one of their standards. There were various alternatives that were looked at, and the final alternative that was selected basically is about 40 inches tall, so it's a little taller than the standard guardrail. And at the top, it has a box beam type element to uh, assist in the absorption of energy. Uh, we were trying to use as many components of existing hardware that Texas uses. There's a benefit to doing that. They're able to use uh, the same hardware. They don't have to inventory a lot of different hardware. We did very detailed computer simulations uh, where we're impacting these guardrail design with different vehicles as we would do later on in testing. Once we're satisfied with the design that it's working the way we want it to, then we moved on to uh, full-scale crash testing. Uh, on this guardrail, we performed three different tests. The first test was with a, a freight truck. It's basically a single-unit truck. It weighs about 22,000 pounds. We also tested with the small car and the pickup, which were also contained and redirected by this barrier. We'll start developing a roadway design standard uh, for this particular unit and uh, provide guidance on its, its application, what recommended application areas in the standard. There will be a new standard related to the TL4 uh, uh, metal beam guard fence system. For more information and to find the publications for this project, please visit the TxDOT Research Library at the link shown below.